What you're about to see is not real news. It is satire based on real news. The characters you're about to see are not real-life humans. They are frighteningly realistic puppets based on real-life humans. The views expressed in the show are not necessarily those of Starsat, its sponsors, its advertisers, or the nice lady that makes the coffee. You missed a spot. She's so different. How would you feel if you had an operation like that? Rich? Now to tweet from her account that she's voted MP in 1994. the state of the puppet nation. This week we catch up with hashtag feast must fall. Tech when I a foot tech. Tokyo gets some tips. Don't let him trick you. And the Bush brothers show us some love. I'm a really cool guy, Deborah. All this and more. But first, this. There's a new celebrity endorsement that companies are vying for. The sales of Fiat soared after the Pope was seen in a Fiat 500 in New York. So, Holy Father, how do you feel about the Pope effect? Well, it would be great if it worked for religion, too. If I say I'm a Catholic, do you think more people would convert? I think if you're the Pope and you're not saying you're Catholic, you've basically failed entirely. Uh, you are Catholic, right? Yes, of course. And what's more, I also love Moe and the Chandon. And Ferrero Rocher. And Armani. The EFF marched on the Chamber of Mines this week. Ah, oh, our people must be so fit, all this marching. The Chamber of Mines should be ashamed. Mm, probably yes, but why specifically? Because one of their members was responsible for the Marikana massacre. EFF Limpopo coordinator Josie Batani was in court for assault. Are you responsible for him? No, but that's different. I am not the Chamber. You also marched on the Reserve Bank. Sub were very respectful. I was happy. And the stock exchange? Yeah, all the places with big money. Oh, so are you marching on Tokyo Sequale next, hmm? Hey, the lost city, Santen? This is no joke, man. We are marching on the lottery next. And David Cameron is facing a tampon revolution. Several members of his own party are likely to rebel and vote with the opposition to abolish all tax on women's sanitary products. Look, it's really not my fault. It's the EU. I don't want to bleed women dry. Ew. No, no, no. What I'm saying is I don't want to milk them for everything they've got. I think that's even worse. Oh, heckity thump. I, I, I just can't win on this bloody tampon issue. I'm throwing in the towel. <laughs> he must have heavy flow this month if he needs a whole towel. <laughs> 
What a time to be alive, Debra. Students have managed to orchestrate a national shutdown and demand actual change. The storming parliament, dodging stun grenades, and forming human shields. What a time. And the Springboks were knocked out the World Cup so we didn't get distracted by pseudo-patriotism. I, I don't think that was on purpose. Oh, what a time. Let's hear from the students themselves. This is not about UCT. It must be clear this is about all the universities. We are saying fees must fall. The situation seems very tense. What is the feeling on the ground? Our comrades are being beaten, shot at, and arrested. We will not retreat. We will not surrender. This is about more than fees. This is about the politics of higher institutions. Yes, I'm glad you brought up politics, little fella. This is about politics, and by politics, I mean who you choose at the ballot box. A foot jack, when I said a foot jack. You see, these students have a frail understanding of politics. They're just too angry, too violent. Oh, come to our sports day, little fella. I'll teach you some breathing exercises. He said foot sack, Zilla. You'll regret this. I really don't think they will. The EFF supports fees must fall. <laughs> of course you do. You can't move for politicians when the cameras are on. Maybe if we speak to students outside the Western Cape, we won't have the DA surfing in on the blue wave trying to convince everyone. We as they... students are owning this hashtag fees must fall narrative. No one else can be trusted. <laughs> Blade must fall. Zuma must fall. Fees must fall. Ugh. What is the latest at Fitz? We are not here to negotiate in closed boardrooms. We Fee want free education fall. and we want it now. Blade must fall. Zuma must fall. Fees must fall. This is much bigger than Blade. all of us. Blade must fall. Zuma must fall. Fees must fall. Uh, I think we have a problem fall. with the sound. Fitz believes we will see Zuma, the only president without a World Cup, fall. We will see Blade fall and we will see hope in the DA rise! Um, I believe they were here to talk to me. Burn. I believe you'll be seeing more of me soon. Whether we like it or not. The EFF supports fees must fall. Ah, uh, for f**k's sakes. Funny how the only politician not trying to get in on the action is Blade. The students have kept the ANC very busy this week. Ah, someone at you. They were looking far too relaxed about life. No, no, no. I know we promised them zero percent, but we don't have the money. Uh, Sansa, how much do we have? Uh, well, uh, there is the small matter of the budget and the economic regression as well. No, as no, the... no. How much, Sansa? Uh, nothing. We, we spent it. A and C, together we can do more. No, no, no. The Women's League cannot carry Zuma's member to the march. He needs it. No, no. You can have it on the 27th. He won't be using it then. No, no, you can't ask the artists to build a statue of it. You are protesting against the artists as well. A and Z, together we can get... No, 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 we are not paying for your hashtag Zumamas Fall t-shirts. No, 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 we didn't give anyone hashtag Fees Must Fall t-shirts. What? Sansa, did you buy any t-shirts? Um, well, there is a small matter of us giving the instruction to pay the vendor. The ANC orders a lot of t-shirts. No, no, I no, can't... Sansa, we uh, cannot uh... protest against ourselves. Stop calling me, Julius. But I got the instruction to get some... ANC, together we can... No, no, no. Jacob can't come out to play Mr. Putin. He's very, very busy. Hello from the other side. I must have called a thousand times to tell you I'm sorry for the things I have done. It's almost like someone feels my pain. Parliament shut down by student protests, students shot by police, arson at Metro Rail are just a few of the things that happened in Cape Town last week. The question we are left asking is, where was the mayor? What happened to the once vocal and fearless union leader? Where are you, Patricia? 
Wait. I'm right here, man. We didn't see you at any of the protests. We were worried you'd left the country. And you've been almost silent on Twitter. Did you lose your phone? I have been very, very busy. You know, Cape Town doesn't run itself, you know. What could be more important than your city coming to a stand still? Well, so much, so very, very much. I, I don't even know where to start. You know, there was my keratin enhancement therapy, and then there was the follicle and the cuticle correction, and... That sounds like going to the hairdresser. Well, I had an appointment, and a real politician never cancels appointments. You know, it's bloody rude. Your city was of in... Of course, there was also the rugby, you know, and then we got my son into that university in New York, so, yeah, you know, they don't riot there. Very, very busy week. Oh, it's all about priorities, Debra. Besides, I saw what they did to Yellen. I wasn't going anywhere near that bloody mess with those students behaving like they from the flats and, 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 and all that riot bloody stuff going on f***ing here. I was going to stay at home. Imagine that. Actual honesty from a politician. Hello, I'm Donald Trump, and today I'm mansplaining homelessness. First thing you have to know, there's no such thing as homelessness. It's just an alfresco lifestyle choice. You motherfuckers want to live out on the streets? Be my guest, but just not in my hotels. I wash my hands of you, and maybe you want to do the same of me, all right? I don't know. Some of you may be nice people, and if you do, I'm telling you right now, get a job and buy some soap. So, Halloween, spooky. Well, not really, no. I'm still trying to figure out my outfit. So, what what are you going to dress up as this year? Ah, uh, a mediocre white man who thinks he's all that. Hmm, nailed it. I genuinely can't think of anything scarier. Maybe spiders, but that's it. The Springboks lost by a hair to New Zealand in the Rugby World Cup semi-final this weekend. Ah, uh, were you surprised? Of course, we were almost there, almost at the final. Almost to World Cup glory. You've been spending far too much time listening to the sports minister. Yeah, I must say the All Blacks were going to moor us, didn't I? Divi told you so? They need some, some, some Divi. They need some buggies. Mm, yeah, but only after they get off the plane home. Buckies don't fly. Mm. Without the divvy, the box is like a kitten on a string on the back of a donkey trying to get into Jerusalem, my friend. Not scary at all. You know, just like Victor said, they needed a fear mm. factor. They needed to, 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 mm. to swallow like live cockroaches from Parktown or something like that. You know, they must make the others shake in their boots. Then maybe mm. they'll win a fucking scrum. No, nah, scrum. Mm. Yeah, yeah, like real fear, like all the time. Eating worms or jumping off a tall building. Mm. Yeah, no one mm. is scared of a fucking kitten, my friend, and the box. They like baby mice on the field, mm. you know? Even a kitten is not scared of them. Uh, they can't play like mice with kittens. It's not lacquer. Mm. Yeah, so they must try war paint and they must have a song like the, the, the blacks, you know? Uh. Or like a toy toy or a scar. Like mm. a scar, like, like Freddy Krueger. Was it Paul Kroger from the mm. Nightmare on, on, on... Well, what's the strat was that? And, and like Rhino. They're f***ing scary. Rhino. Mm. Yeah, and they must pass the ball like snakes. Yeah, snakes are scary. Mm. Mm. They strike. Mm. They could strike Mako. Mm. And Retallic. Mm. Mm. Yeah, exactly. The Boca need us, my friends. And Carter. Mm. And Moody. <coughs> and snuff! <coughs> and in other news, most people have tried to uh, understand. Uh, um, uh, excuse me. Oh, hello. Uh, were you gonna talk about the Proteus? We just did. That was the Springboks. What's your point? Of course, we were going to talk about the Proteus and uh, the. Yes, about the Potter's amazing defeat of India. Oh, well yeah. done. Yeah, you know, uh, the boys uh, pulled together as a team. And yeah, we, we were the best uh, team on the day. Actually, you were the best on many days, scoring the highest total against India ever. 
And you broke some record. The fastest ODI 6000 runs ever. Well done to you. Well, you know, uh, it was a team effort, uh, even though I was uh, the one doing the betting. Um, what are you looking for? Uh, the sports minister. You know, he, he loves winners and uh, we are winners. So, you know, I thought maybe there'd be a party. Awkward. Uh, Fixie? Uh, Rasmus Hess? Mm-hmm. You there? Shame. No? A- anybody? Anyone? So awkward. Shame. Shame. It's official. Tokyo Sequali has put himself forward as a candidate for the FIFA presidency. He certainly has some of the qualifications the job requires, like dealing with suspiciously huge sums of money. So, to recap, which firms are in the good column? Consultant fees, uh, development money, uh, sundries. Sundries is our friend. I love sundries. And in the bad column? Bribes, uh, unaccounted funds, uh, payoffs. Excellent. Now, where do you put endorsement fees? Endorsement fees? Hmm, that's a tricky one. Don't let him trick you. Shut up, Danny. Um, if people are endorsing us, that's uh, a good thing. Actually, I don't recall. Danny? Oops! I said don't ask me. No one ever gives me money. Shut up, Danny! Hello, I'm Donald Trump, and today I'm mansplaining this. The Bible. Yeah, the Bible. This summer, I read the Bible. It's a good book. Yeah, lots of begetting. You had to hand it to those old Jews. They knew how to beget the shit out of their wives. And there's stories, too. There's the one about the kike who puts all the animals on a luxury cruise ship so his sons can have something to shoot at? Probably. And then there's this bit about this hippie who goes around telling everyone to give up their wealth and be dirty hippies just like him. But don't worry. It all turns out okay because in the end they crucify him. It's such a great book. I don't know whether to marry it, eat it, or sell it to the Chinese. Did you read about the driver who was so drunk the cops thought the breathalyzer was broken? Huh? What? Yeah, he was like 12 times over the legal limit. Ah, oh, I'm surprised the cops didn't smell him coming. I can't believe his friends let him drive off in that state. Still not as scary as a mediocre white man who thinks he's all that though. Damn, and I was just figuring out the costume. You know, with the broken breathalyzer and like my own white line, I could pretend to try to walk down uh, and then someone While could come you dream and... up ideas, let's see what Rian has for old news. Hello! Ah! It's only me, Rian! That's terrifying, man! Oh. When are you taking us today, Rian? Well, it's been seven years since a new political party prepared to take South Africa by storm. Let me take you back. <laughs> Good evening, Guyanant Dumelang. Today, a new political party led by Masiwa Lekota, Mululeki George and Mbazima Shiloa was announced. The party, calling itself COPE, has vowed to change the political landscape. Here to discuss this with us is ANC Youth League leader Julius Malema. These people are being childish. Everyone knows the ANC will rule no matter what. So you don't see yourself... Coping anytime soon. Get it? <laughs> Cope in coping. I get it, Rian, but it's not funny, even though their party is a joke. Uh, there are many saying that the country is ready for change, that we could see a Cope government by 2016, say. They can say what they want, Rian. In 2016, I will still be voting ANC. And so will every clever person in this country. These Cope want to fight Zuma. I will kill for Zuma. Gosh, well, interesting times, South Africa. Will COPE ever run the country or will we all stay loyal to the ANC like Julius here? Hello, I'm Donald Trump and today I'm mansplaining Jeb Bush. T.O. Jeb Bush. Listen, you asshole. Just because you're the son of President Dick Face Robotomaton and the fact that you came out of the same... Well, whatever. As President chuckles the shit for brains clown, that doesn't make you a presidential candidate worth half a flying frog fuck. 
So now you're sending your floozy interns to gate crash the Trump show, huh? Why don't you just man up for once in your life, call a spade a spade, and a bush a big hairy vagina. Drop out of the race, loser, or I'll come over to your house and f*** your ugly sack of a wife till your maids call me boss and your kids call me daddy. This week, presidential hopeful Hillary Clinton turned 68. The grandmother and former secretary of state is planning a star-studded birthday party and has registered for gifts everywhere. Oh, don't worry, guys. I saw the exchange rate. I'm not expecting gifts from you. Have you received good presents so far? You know, any that you may not need and you might want to ship here? Oh, I've received so many wonderful gifts. But the best gift of all has been the Republican Party. <laughs> oh, thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Are you thanking the party that dragged you in front of a House Select Committee hearing? Oh, but it was televised, Deborah, And I looked wonderful. My makeup team was in full force. My hair looked great. My Twitter followers created a new hashtag. Best present ever. And what did Bill get you? Oh, he kept quiet during the whole thing. That was the second best present ever. I'm so gonna win this president thing. Oh, that is a rare and special gift, Hillary. Oh, don't I know it. Now, if he could do the same thing for the rest of the campaign, I'll have this in the bag. You know, Deborah, I... I don't remember you giving me a present for my birthday. That's funny, because I distinctly remember not killing you that day. Republican presidential hopeful Jeb Bush has cool things to do besides running for president. I still can't understand why he's running at all. He's a Bush. There's no chance America will elect another Bush for the, what, what is it, the 15th time? I'm a really cool guy, Deborah. Jeb Bush and George Dubia, welcome to Puppet Nation. But... A cool guy? Hmm. You could have fooled me. Fool me once. Shame on. Wait, I practice this. Shame on. Shame. It's a shame. No, wait. Are uh, you related to the least cool man in the world, former American President George Bush? Where did you learn the definition of cool? Actually, George W. is pretty cool, too. We he do cool things like uh, fishing on daddy's yacht. <laughs> Yachts are cool. When I'm president... We uh, hunt with fancy guns and high-tech rifles like they do on 24. <laughs> That's cool. I did like 24, but hunting. We also watch sports on our giant TV. Badminton is so cool. See? I have cool things to do, but I'm gonna do y'all a huge favor and let you elect me president. Three bushes in your lifetime. <laughs> That's better than two birds in the hand and one in the, uh, other hand. <laughs> Plus, his wife's Colombian, so he's like a diversity bush. Uh, George, actually, Columba is from Mexico. We're proud Americans. Does he even know how much his brother hurts his campaign? He should divorce himself from that family. Wait, uh, I also have good policies. And never reproduce. I've seen enough bush for a lifetime. <laughs> this we got... Do we really have to do this? I mean, can't we pretend we don't have the internet and ignore him? No. Uh, fine. This week on Shit Trump Says. This week shit with Donald Trump. This week it seems Americans are coming to their senses as Donald Trump drops down to second place in the Iowa polls. I was really starting to get worried there. Hey you, moron. The sun is not going to take out all of our electricity, you moron. What are you talking about? And I started the whole Muslims can't be president thing. Make up your own Obama crap. Wait, who do you think I am? If you could just wake up and have a damn cup of coffee, you could pull your head out of your sleepy ass long enough to see that Mexican rapists are the worst thing since slavery, not Obama. What? One state does not make you better than me, buddy. I'm going to kick your dopey moron ass right out of the presidential race. Wait, wait, wait. Do you think that I'm... I'm not Ben Carson. That's what they all say. But I'm really not. And if you say slavery this or slavery that, or play the race card one more time, just one more time, Ben, you f***ing black guys are all the same. Boo! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's just me, Leon Schuster. And this is just one of the many, many cock-funny Halloween costumes you'll find at Leon Schuster's Costume Coliseum. We've got Nazi uniforms, Avia Bia uniforms, guaranteed authentic. Or you could go to your party dressed as a Moffy, or a Moffy with AIDS. <laughs> and especially for the ladies, try our slutty range. 
you can go as a sexy Ebola patient, a sexy ISIS murder victim, or just somewhere wear this string bikini. Made from real string. You'll look like a total hoor and all the oaks will want to pump you stuck in. So don't drink too much, eh? Because that's just asking for it. But, of course, this wouldn't be Leon Schuster's Costume Coliseum if we didn't give white people a chance to dress up like blacks. Look at me! I'm a maid! <laughs> now I'm a f***ing terrorist! Now I'm some stupid black oak! Come on, it's funny, huh? So, if you don't have a stick up your hole and know how to take a joke, come to Leon Schuster's Leon Schuster's Costume Coliseum! What the hell is this? I am a Boer War concentration camp prisoner. You racist blocks up! <laughs> Don't you f***ing snark me! Oh, f***! It's Schuster! So, today we learned that when life gets too much, you should listen to Adele. And that there's nothing scarier than a mediocre white man who thinks he's all that. Although Donald Trump comes close. This has been the 104th state of the Puppet Nation. Goodbye. Goodbye. Debra, Debra, I've got it. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm going to dress up as for Halloween. What? You. You see, you see? <laughs>